produced by our body that are you know harming us ultimately uh. what's up you guys zarati welcome back to our channel today's topic is another developmental psychology topic it's about how we kind of grow old and succumb to death so let's begin so we know these signs of aging right like you get these crow's feet you get a lot of wrinkles your skin kind of sags you get white hair even a lot of hair fall your bones hurt your joints hurt a lot of women tend to get osteoporosis and there are a lot of other things so the question for today is that why does this happen exactly so we know that cells do regenerate it keeps on um, developing so there are old, there are some cells that die and then there are new cells that come up um, in their place so we know that goes on for years and years and years but then we do age and these cells start deteriorating the question is that why does it happen like what is it what is this mechanism that um at a certain point the cells do start deteriorating and why they cannot um keep developing and regenerating so there are two theories um related to aging first is genetic programming theory so this theory suggests that our dna genetic code um has this time built in okay and when that time is up or when the time is ending you can say um we start or our body starts deteriorating and we ultimately die so you can say that we are genetically programmed to die one day <laughs> so um we can also say that after a certain time has passed uh, which is de- which is decided or just predetermined by um genetically our body starts to deteriorate matlab the cells in our body they stop regenerating and they start deteriorating and that's how we end up dying no i'm going to stop saying dying there are several variations to this theory genetic programming theory so first is that every gene like everybody has genes right so the, the, we have this death gene okay everybody has a death gene which um if i have to explain so researchers who take the evolutionary point of view they suggest that when humans are reproducing they are valuable so once their reproductive age is done now they can't reproduce anymore they are quite unnecessary because think about it from the evolutionary point of view there are only two things that matter first is survival and second is reproduction why because we have to you know continue our species and we can't go extinct so it's all about survival and reproduction so once you stop reproducing you turn out to be very invaluable to your species i guess that's just how the evolutionary view point is so these researchers said that the species like say humans they only need to survive up till the age of reproduction once they stop reproducing so um according to this evolutionary point of view um we all have genes right that are related to diseases okay so these genes are they are passed on from one generation to the next obviously we already know that so what these genes allow is that they allow people to have children and then these genes are passed on to each generation and once you stop reproducing once your job is done sort of um these genes are programmed to cause diseases in us and that we can no longer exist second variation of this genetic programming theory is about the cells so we have these cells right like i said that they um start to divide all of the time until a certain point they all uh, the another variation is that they believe that they can only divide or they can reproduce or replenish and repair only a certain number of times okay so maybe it's like 1 million is the number i'm just giving an example 
once all these cells have um, regenerated one million times since the day you are born once that time that counter hits one million they stop regenerating and that's when they start deteriorating okay so you can think of an example of maybe a computer disk or something where it is used over and over and over again until it just gives out one day and we can see this as body does not renew does that make sense at the same rate and as a reason why we see our body deteriorating and we die one day so evidence for this theory um, is seen in research that was done in a laboratory with human cells. So when human cells were allowed to divide, they could successfully do that around 50 times, okay? And they could do that until um, telomeres or telomeres, how to know how to pronounce it, it grows shorter. So each cell, every time they divide, this telomeres keeps getting shorter and shorter. So telomeres is a tiny protective DNA covering whatever at the tip of the chromosomes so every time the cell divides this telomere gets shorter and shorter and ultimately obviously it's going to like disappear right and the second this telomere disappears the cell cannot replenish anymore this is what this theory or this variation talks about right there are certain number of times that a cell can replenish or renew itself and once it cannot do that anymore it stops and it deteriorates and that's what we can see in the damage like uh, the collagen kind of does not replenish our skin sags and all of that so we already know all the external signs of aging at least so yeah so it's all about telomeres getting shorter and as a reason why cells cannot replenish anymore so that is genetic programming theory second theory we'll talk about is wear and tear theory you know it I think the name actually explains it just like cars and washing machines and phones and everything around us any kind of electronic gadget or whatever Ab jitna use karoge, utna it will depreciate it will deteriorate and it will stop working one day and that's exactly how body works like so we know that body is continuously manufacturing energy right if we eat food and from food we get energy so our body is continuously making energy for all the activities that we need to do in life this uh, manufacturing creates this byproduct which is combined with all the toxins and threats of everyday life like radiation and accidents and all the chemicals and all of that so these byproducts that have these toxins and threats they reach at such a high level at like one day or you know after it accumulates you can say and it reaches such a high level that it starts um, it, it has negative effects on our bodies, normal bodies functioning. So it kind of deteriorates our body. And that's the reason why we can see the aging signs and all of that. So one specific kind of byproduct that is, you no, know, we have evidence uh, because of research that shows that this byproduct is related to aging and this byproduct is free radicals. So free radicals are these electrically charged molecules or atoms that are produced by the cells of the body and because they are electrically charged they um, they have negative effects on our body a lot of research has been done that show that oxygen free radicals have implications that are related to that like, age related problems like heart disease cancer and even diabetes so this is the irony of life, I think, that we need oxygen to breathe and there are these oxygen-free radicals that are produced by our body that are, you know, harming us, ultimately. <sighs> and that is it for today's video. I hope this video is super short. I have no idea because I'm filming right now. Um, I wanted to keep it short. Um, next time, uh, maybe in a couple of weeks, I will make a video on how we can extend our lifespan through scientific advances and its implications as well i was thinking of combining these two but like i said i like making separate topics separate videos i hope you learned something today this is a very different topic and i don't think it will get a lot of traction so i hope you like share and also subscribe to this channel because why not if you like psychology and i'll see you next friday with another psychology video